Hello used car drivers, today we're going to take a look at a beautiful 2014 Ram 3500 crew cab long bed four wheel drive with a 6.4 liter Hemi gas engine. First off, the immediate thing I'm going to touch on with this truck is the long bed. You just don't see that enough anymore. Uh, and it's surprising, you know, everybody that's, uh, or it seems like everybody that's buying trucks these days are not buying them for the utility. You know, when you get the short bed, you just lose a lot of options and choices of what you can do with your truck. This is a great looking truck with the classic Ram look. Another awesome, <clears throat> excuse me, another awesome feature of this truck is going to be the long running boards there that extend past in into the bed a little bit so if you've got something in your truck bed you may use that step there to step up and reach into the truck bed which is a nice feature a lot of companies are not doing that i like the little go faster lines that they put in the hood there that's a cool look too just overall cab lights this is just it's a beautiful truck Got a nice metallic dark gray paint color as well. Nice big chrome front end. Nice wheels and tires on it. And the truck's only got about 80,000 miles. Does also have to so have a soft tonneau cover. As you can see, it has parking sensors, backup sensors, as well as a backup camera right there in your tailgate, uh, tailgate latch or handle does have the tow package and with this truck currently equipped how it is it can tow a little over 11,000 pounds that's what it's rated for that is let's go ahead and start in the back seat we'll move around to the front passenger side and then we'll go around once again and get into the driver's seat so here's your back seat let's go ahead and get a little bit of a wider shot here do you have hooks up there as well as little storage bins on either side, and they're fairly deep as well, which is really nice. And in addition to that, this seat very easily lifts up with one hand, and you've got a nice couple of storage bins or a big storage area under the seat there that you can be keeping things. And there's no latch or lever or anything to put it back down. You just grab it, and again, very easily it folds back down. And, of course, standard door back here. You do have the door handle and power window switch, of course. A little storage cubby. And your cup holders for the back seat, if you didn't already see them, are in between or in the middle of that seat on the floor. Great look. Of course, it does have the RAM mirrors that there we go as you can see it flips up giving you more visibility if you're pulling a trailer or something like that and you can just push them right back into place on your passenger side you do have the standard door locks and power window switch little storage cubby here as well as you can see the jack is stored under this uh, this passenger seat in lieu of a second glove box, you have this little storage cubby here, and a standard size glove box before or below that. And something I thought was interesting is these two little, these two little miniature cubbies on either side of the passenger. Something I found a little interesting. Let's go ahead and do one more walk around, and then I'll show you the driver's seat. Paint and body are in great condition, as it should be, being a 2014. But you never know, I have seen vehicles of this year and newer with poor paint already. Let me also show you the under the hood. So this is the 6.4 liter Hemi. Makes 410 foot-pounds of torque and four, or excuse me, 410 horsepower and 429 foot-pounds of torque. As you can see, it's a pretty big engine, but if you look over here, 
I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera very well, but uh, those coil packs and spark plugs and everything are still fairly easy to access, which is nice for the do-it-yourselfers. Moving on to the driver's seat, again, standard controls, power mirrors, power windows, and your power door locks. It does come with auto lamps, as every vehicle should, in my opinion. The feature's been out long enough. And something that really impressed me is this right here, a completely removable little foam insert there that gives you more storage options. I think that thing's really neat. Gray cloth interior. Of course, adjustable steering wheel. You just pull that right there to set that. Go ahead and hop in here. So you do have a little indentation up there that I can imagine you can use for storage or what have you, perhaps files, toss them up there. You've got this little cubby right there with an embossed RAM. You do have the touchscreen infotainment system, the smaller one though. Gauges are very simple and easy to read. And of course, steering wheel, Bluetooth, audio, and cruise control controls. This does have a electric trailer brake from the factory, a trailer brake controller, as well as a tow haul mode. You can also put it into manual shift mode and use those buttons there to shift through the gears. Here's your key fob for this truck. Standard Chrysler Dodge and Jeep key fob for the time. And you just insert that little bit right in there. And there you go. Again, nice, easy to read gauges. You've got a lot of options of stuff you can scroll through there. As you can see, speedometer, fuel or vehicle info, fuel economy, trip A, trip B, trailer, tow, messages, screen setup, turn menu off, and it goes right up to the top. And when you go into trip A or B, there's a fair bit of information displayed there. And if you go into vehicle info, one of my favorite screens is the tire PSI screen. Every automaker should be doing this. They all have tire pressure monitoring systems. They should all show you the independent individual tire pressures. Engine hours, gauge summary, battery voltage, oil life, oil pressure, oil temperature, trans temperature, and back to tire PSI. Also, this has my favorite kind of climate controls, simple to use dials. I don't like buttons, especially for cycling through uh, which vents you want them coming out. I love having it this way because I find myself constantly adjusting temperature, fan speed, where it's coming out of uh, uh, quite a bit. And once you have owned this vehicle for a short enough period of time that allows you to memorize all of these dials, super easy to just reach over without taking your eyes off the road and adjust it how you need it. I quite like it that way. Moving on to the center console, you've got three cup holders right up there. Nice storage area here, pretty well sized. Something I thought was interesting too is your little coin organizer is removable. As well as USB auxiliary and another 12 volt outlet in there. And this lifts up, this truck can seat six. Down here, you've got another little storage area. You've got one here that you can pull out like a little drawer. Two 12 volt outlets down here. And there is a handle that you can pick up, which then reveals even more storage and your CD receiver. This truck is also set up to tow. Let me show you why. So this little tonneau cover just kind of rolls up pretty easy, but when you open the bed here, ah, beautiful long bed. I love seeing a long bed. It's just, they're getting rarer and rarer, and I think that's weird, but you can see it's set up for a fifth wheel hitch, which is great. So that's been a quick look at this 2014 beautiful Ram 3500 long bed crew cab, four wheel drive, with the 6.4 liter Hemi engine. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next vehicle.